Keeping up with bookmarks can be a bit overwhelming at times, but today I'm going to show you Link Warden, a self-hosted collaborative bookmark manager, which lets you not only save, tag, and organize bookmarks, but also save the contents offline for the ultimate Read It Later platform. In this video, we are going to deploy it on TrueNAS. Starting in our TrueNAS dashboard, the first thing we're going to want to do is create some data sets for our data to live in. I'm going to jump into my tank and configs data set, and in the top right, I'm going to click the blue button for add data set. I'm going to give it the name Link Warden. And I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic and hit save. Then I'm going to click return to pool list. Now I have a Link Warden dataset, and I'm going to create three sub datasets underneath Link Warden for each of the paths that it needs. So I'm going to click Link Warden in my center pane. In the top right, I'm going to click add dataset again. My first dataset is going to be for data. And I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic again and hit save. I'm going to click Link Warden again and click Add Dataset again on the right. The next dataset is going to be from Meli Search. I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic again and hit Save. And then click Link Warden again and click Add Dataset. My last dataset will be for the database, and I'm just going to call this DB, and I'm going to leave it generic and hit Save. Now we need to adjust the permissions of this data set so Link Warden could write to it. Click the Link Warden dataset in the bottom right where it says Permissions, go to Edit. For our group, we're gonna to wanna to switch this to apps. We're gonna uncheck all the boxes for other and give the group row the read, write, and execute permissions with these check boxes on the right. I'm gonna click apply user, apply group, and apply permissions recursively. When the warning pops up, just click confirm, hit continue, then check the box to apply permissions to child datasets, hit save. Now all of our dataset permissions should look like this. In the bottom right, I'm gonna Click each data set and make sure they all match. Now we can go ahead and launch this app from the catalog. In the left pane, click apps, then click discover apps in the top right, type in link, click link warden, and then click the blue install button. Scrolling down, we're going to want to give our database, next auth secret, and Meli search master key all strong passwords. Once you've done that, keep scrolling down to the storage configuration section where it says data storage. Change our type to host path and find the path we just created. Do the same thing for the Meli Search data storage. And lastly, do it for the Postgres data storage. The Postgres has a special checkbox you have to check that says automatic permissions. Make sure to check that box, scroll all the way down, and then hit install. To deploy this in Dockage, go ahead and click your Dockage application here, click Web UI. Click Compose, then give your stack a name. Go ahead and delete all this placeholder data and jump over to the wiki. In the search bar on the top, type in Link Warden, and then click the orange bar to take you to the page. Go ahead and copy the entire Docker Compose file here. Go back to Dockage and paste the file. If you want, you can go ahead and change this password for Postgres, which I recommend you do. Make sure you've made these data sets as is shown in the volume section for all three of these services, then go ahead and click deploy. Now that my app is up and running, let's go ahead and click Link Warden and click Web UI. We are greeted by the sign-in screen where we're asked to sign up for a new account. Give yourself a display name, a username, and a password, and then click sign up. Now we can log in. Let's click login. And we are greeted with the dashboard. Let's go ahead and add a new link. I'm going to click the purple add a new link button right in the middle. I'm going to give a link of self-hosted, and I'm going to leave the collection unorganized for right now. If I click the More Options section, I can add a name, or I'll let it be auto-generated. I can choose a tag here, and I can give it a description. Let's go ahead and leave all this blank and just click Create Link. Now that my link has been added on the dashboard, I can see I have a few options with it. If I click the picture in the center here, it'll take me right to self-host. However, I can also click any one of these icons down here to see the archive version. So for example, I can click HTML, and we see here it looks like I'm looking at self-host, but I'm actually looking at an archive copy on my server. This works just like self-host in the fact that it has archived and crawled some of this web page. So we can see here, if I click the first link, I'm still on my personal server, yet I'm showing an archive version of what was on self-host weekly from 10 October 2025. This is obviously a very powerful feature because for whatever reason self-host goes down, if I have this on my Link Warden, I can still see the weekly newsletter even if the site is offline. There's a few other options here. This is the readable version, the PDF version, the image, and the HTML. If I click the image, for example, it's just an image. None of this is clickable. And if I click the PDF, 
it is clickable, but it's gonna take me out to the self-host website, not to my internal archived version. Right now, this is in an unorganized collection, but if I click the collections tab on the left side, I can start a new collection called tech and give it a purpose. Let's click create collection. Let's go ahead and move my self-host link from unorganized to tech. I will click unorganized here. And then for the self-host link that I've saved, I'm gonna click the three dots and then click edit link. We can see here, I can change my collection now to tech and then click save changes. When I go to my tech collection on the left side, I can now see my self-host link saved here. Within my tech collection, I can go ahead and rename it if I want, but I also have some other options on the top right when I click these three dots. I can open all my links, edit my collection info, share and collaborate, and create a sub collection. When I click share and collaborate, we can make this a public collection and give it a shareable link. You'll notice, of course, I'm using my private IP here because I've not put this behind a reverse proxy yet. I'm going to copy this link, click save changes, open a new tab, paste my link, and hit enter. Now we can see my tech collection and the link that I have here that can be shared with others. Once I start building lots of links, I can go ahead and pin certain ones to the dashboard by clicking this pin icon in my recent links. If I want, I can change how this dashboard looks by clicking the edit layout button in the top right. I have the ability to turn the stats on or off, changing whether or not I show collections here, like my tech collection, my pinned links, or any recent links I've opened. I could also click and drag and move these around to reorganize my dashboard. As a way to further organize my links, I can go ahead and tag the ones that I've already made. Let's go to the tag section on the left side and add a new tag. I'm gonna call this tag YouTube and create a new tag. Now when I go to my dashboard and I go to my links, I can edit my link and add a tag that I've created like YouTube. I'm gonna click save changes and then close this right side pane. Now when I go to tags and I click YouTube, I can see all the links that have been tagged with YouTube. That was Link Warden. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm gonna deploy this myself and use it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you find yourself watching my content often, go ahead and subscribe so you're notified when new content is released. If you need any support, please join our Discord server. Thank you guys for making it this far into the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.